What's going on guys? So I want to share with you a uh, little project that I've been working on. Um, so we've had this constant problem with trying to, I guess, fasten down our gas cans. And uh, being the do-it-yourselfer that I am, I wanted to make a rack instead of buying one because they were kind of, kind of pricey um, for a, a decent one, you know. And uh, I didn't want to have to wait for it to arrive. So anyway, I had a Harbor Freight Flux Core welder. Uh, 125 amp one and uh, I had an old bed frame and some few pieces of round stock and I made one I'll show it to you in just a second okay so here's the gas can holder just some old pieces of bed frame some round stock that's two and a half gallon jug and then we'll hold a five gallon jug too all right guys so you know we made the gas can holder with this little welder here and uh, so the next project is uh, a trimmer rack now you can buy some that uh, you know some are very expensive and uh, some are super cheap on Amazon I think I've seen one for like 40 bucks on Amazon um, and you know I, there's a lot of good reviews about the more expensive ones uh, and I even seen good reviews on the $40 ones but uh, I kind of want to make one. I want to see uh, see how it turns out uh, since I haven't and uh, when we get the materials for the trimmer rack um, we'll get the square tubing and stuff and then uh, we'll do a video on that and uh, um, hopefully you don't roast me too hard on my welds on that but um, yeah now going back to the gas can holder on my gas can holder here I end up tack welding it and uh, to the actual fender uh, the front of it anyway and then I uh, did a few spot welds here and there I didn't fully do one long uh, weld down the side I just did like little little sections to hold it I went to Lowe's I bought the bolts and the washers and everything uh, and Lowe's is like 30 minutes away from me uh, where we recently moved it used to be like five minutes now it's 30 well, anyway I, I got to Lowe's that night at like 9 and they closed at 10 so by the time I got home pulled out the drill and went to drill the holes the drill um, the drill bit was just toast. I had used it on something else and I thought it was new and it just wouldn't, it would not do the job. And I didn't want to have to turn around and uh, drive back to Lowe's or wait. Uh, so I just, I did it. Um, it would be a little bit more of a pain if we were to take it off, um, but it's not too bad and eventually I can bolt it if need be. The trimmer rack though, we'll bolt it, uh, we'll weld it all together and then um, but we'll, I'll get a different drill bit and we'll, that way we can bolt that and that can be removable because I don't want to weld a whole bunch onto the trailer uh, especially if we have plans down the road for it for something else like if we go and get our uh, if we get a box truck or uh, we get a truck like one of those uh, ramp trucks um, that you can drive the mowers upon and just have one big uh, mowing unit and not use the trailer so that's the plan now, if you get one of these um, from Harbor Freight, uh, the one I got, it came with a welding shade already. And it came with, like, some little sh cheap little, you got to hold it, uh, I guess, hood thing. It wasn't even really a hood. It was like a shield. Um, this right here, I think I bought from, oh, hold on. I think that came from Northern Tool. Uh, it was only like maybe 20 bucks or something like that. It was, uh, and it takes, you know, like the, uh, the, uh, I mean, the shades are interchangeable. 
it's a cheap hood it's plastic but it works it's work it's it's light uh, it's not real heavy on your head and you can change those uh, things out I've heard of some people buying them and they have a time trying to uh, you know change shades because they can't get them out or something like that but uh, that's very simple um, this machine right here it came with a shade 9 shade in the box and uh, when I bought the hood it came with a shade 10 and I tried the shade 9 at first and I, it was just so dark I couldn't see it was it reminded me um, of like uh, it's you're outside and it's pitch black and you see a lightning bug or a firefly like that's all I seen like a, like a tiny little yellow light that's all I can see how that shade on um, now I put the shade 10 from this uh, in again and then tried welding and I was able to see more and I could see the puddle it was more like a uh, uh, let's see, it was more like a, a candlelight kind of ordeal. It was a little bit brighter, but it wasn't very bright. Um, so, if, if you've never used a welder before, uh, it's not, everybody says, oh God, you're, you're going to go blind, uh, this and that. I don't think so. I, I don't. Uh, it's not that bright. Uh, it is without the shield. You got to have a, a helmet, a hood, a welding hood. Got to. Um, I wouldn't go brighter than like. I wouldn't go too much brighter than shade uh, ten, in my personal opinion. I uh, guess if you're welding outdoors, it's pretty bright. Inside, it's it's okay. You can still see what you're doing. Um, but yeah, it's not. When you've got that hood on, it's not. It's not gonna blind you. Uh, as long as you've got your hood on, and you've got an appropriate shade in your hood that you're looking through, it's not that bright. Like I said, uh, shade nine was like looking at a, a, a lightning bug light up, and then the shade 10 was more like a candle light. I could see better with it, but it wasn't so bright that it hurt my eyes, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, this is a pretty good machine. I put, uh, I don't know if it'll run like a two pound spool or anything. It's run, uh, I put up one, one pound Harbor Freight spool of wire through it and went completely through it and I bought a Lincoln 030 wire and that's what I'm using now and that's what I used to finish up on uh, the gas can holder and 030 is okay from what I found out but I think 035 would be the better option for some of these like if you're making a trimmer rack or a uh, you know, if you're making something that's going to hold a little bit of weight, I would might go with the bigger, uh, the bigger wire size. Um, but if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you want to make something like that for your trailer or just whatever, uh, this thing's pretty good. Uh, it takes some getting used to with the settings. Um, I found that if I, of course, I was welding on I think 11 gauge steel. But I had to put it on the max, and I had to turn my wire speed up, uh, I think, to 7 to get it to remotely look uh, like it's supposed to. Uh, again, I'm no welder, but I'm uh, just playing around, and I enjoy making stuff. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're thinking about it, you want to make one, too, after, you, after we put this video up of the trimmer rack, and you think that's something you want to do... Um, this, this thing was cheap, and you can get it even cheaper with a coupon. I think I only paid like 130 bucks for it or something like that. It wasn't bad, so uh, yeah.